Cooper, and this is my husband, Ryan Cooper, and we're here to tell our Jesus story. We both were raised differently. I was raised Jehovah's Witness, and my husband was raised Catholic, and we had a really hard time finding a church that we both felt like we could belong to and that we both enjoyed together. My son started at Greenwood Christian School and also joined the Basketball League. At the time, Ryan was very impressed with how the league had prayer and Bible study incorporated into the sports. We were so impressed with the Basketball League that we decided to attend a service. The night before we went to the service, I had said a prayer and asked God to give me a sign that I would know that if this is where we were to be, that I would know. That day, at service, Jean Weber came up to me and asked if I would like to be part of She Shares. There was one spot left, and it started the next day. I knew this was the sign I had prayed for. When I arrived the next night at She Shares, I realized that the wife of our coach was also in She Shares, and this was a connection that I hadn't expected. It just shows that everything comes together, that God has a bigger plan, and sometimes we don't see it until later. In the spring of 2013, I found out that I needed to have open heart surgery. This was a very difficult time for me and my family. Before surgery, the head of cardiology and the surgeon came to see me and had images that showed that I also needed a valve replacement and that two of the three leaflets on the valve were completely destroyed. The night before surgery, I was praying, and I remember a passage in the Bible that stated that if I had the faith the size of a mustard seed, all things are possible. So I just prayed to God that to make the surgery go smoothly and that the surgery was successful. During surgery, the surgeon tried to get my heart valve to leak, and he couldn't do it. He tried four times, and he said that all the leaflets were in perfect shape. This was an answered prayer. The night before surgery, my dad prayed that God would heal my valve so I wouldn't need a mechanical one. After the surgery, the surgeon came into the waiting room to let my family know what had happened, and he told my dad that I, he didn't have to put a new valve in, and my dad fell to his knees and thanked God for the miracle he gave us. After the successful surgery, we decided to do more with the community and with the church. We joined the Shellis Life Group, and as we have a heart for children, we became foster parents. We also mentor in the Big Brother Big Sister program where we are currently mentoring a little boy. We also enjoy once a month volunteering with community meals. We were recently baptized and we know that this is just the beginning of what God has in store for us.